Look at this. The pole will not stay. There. It keeps sliding back. As it stands, I am very, very disappointed because this, this, this is rubbish. Really not happy. So, the postman's bid, and we've got a new toy to play with. So what we've got here is the Perea Outdoors Arches One tent. It's a trekking pole tent, um, not, not the lightest. Um, I just didn't really want to follow the, the hordes that have got the Lanshans because well, I just didn't. There's there's nothing wrong with those tents whatsoever. They're hence, hence the reason why they're so popular. I just wanted to have something that wasn't as popular. Give it a go. See how it works. See how it looks. So yeah, let's uh, let's get it on the scales and see what we're looking at. So here we are in the stuff sack. Um, if I put that on the floor, put my size eight boot next to it, that'll give you an idea as as to the size. So out the out the packet. is about thirteen inches. By six. Um, I reckon you can get that smaller. Um, yeah, you can definitely get that a bit smaller, but that, that's okay for what I want. That's okay. Yeah, that'll work. So I've just taken it out of the uh, the bag. There we have the inner. We've got the uh, pegs or stakes fly sheet and the ground sheet so here you can see I've pegged down the ground sheet um, after doing the research that I've done I'm aware that the Dyneema cord here isn't great that needs to be uh, swapped out for some elastic shock cord so now I'm just going to put the uh, the inner on and have a look at that. So I've got the uh, the inner now laid on the uh, the dynamo is a little bit longer on the on the inner, but as you can see, it's quite loose. So yeah, we'll see. The idea now is to get the um, get the fly sheet on, and then with the the hooks that are here and and there, we can we can uh, work it so it's, it will go up all in one in the future. Look at this, the pole will not stay there it keeps sliding back as it stands i am very very disappointed because this 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 is rubbish <laughs> really not happy realize what a, a 
100% 24-carat plonker he really is. <laughs> so, what I may have overlooked was the fact that there are some loops at the top at each end so the trekking poles go through the loops and that holds them at each end as you can see yeah i should have looked a little bit harder really shouldn't i but you know hey hope this is all the uh the all the all the joys of learning about a tent that hasn't really been covered much at all um as i said earlier in the video it's not really a popular tent and i want to see why um but yeah now now i've done that and i've added the uh, the other modifications in that i'm going to tell you about now i think this could be uh, could be good not necessarily the lightest tent in the world but it could be good we'll see yeah, it's been a few days um since i did those last bits of filming um i've ordered some 2.5 millimeter dynamic cord uh some elastic shock cord and i've made a couple of modifications which i'm going to show you now so here you can see i've got the two and a half millimeter dynamic cord which works brilliantly through these uh, line locks i've added onto the dyneema on the ground sheet i've added the shock cord which now brings this long enough to go with the dyneema that's on the inner i've added longer one from there down and i'll put these in i know that's a bit uh loose at the moment but so now i can get a proper look because it's it's a lot better a lot more taut than what it was and we'll have a quick look inside as you can see nice big vestibule space there and so i mean i'm in the tent for the first time now i am if i lie down you can see I've got quite a bit of space there. My toes are touching there, but that's because I've, I'm right down. Another vestibule there with another door. I've got the zips. Separate tie backs for the inners. This is quite good. There's, there's a lot of space I reckon I reckon at a push you could probably get two in here although this is only the one person but yeah it's, it's good real good so far I'm impressed what I plan to do um, today's the 22nd of March so the plan is on April the 12th when Big Bozza says we're allowed out to play I'm going to get out and have a proper camp um, and what I will probably do is is give you more of a first time usage review as such this is just an unboxing type video uh, first setup so um, what I'll do is I'll I'll um, finish this little video with some some measurements of the inside so you can see what we're what you're looking at in terms of the uh, the, the internal size of the tents and the vestibules um, I would suggest it's probably a little bit smaller than a Lanshan 2 so for a one-person tent that's 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 a good size that's very good um, yeah now, now I've ironed out the uh, the initial problems, which I will add, Perea are aware of the problems of the Dyneema, so they, uh, they're they going to be sending some 
some two and a half millimeters shock cord um, to help iron out those those issues. But yeah, I think I think this could be a good tent, uh, reasonably priced. It's it was 140 euros with no extra shipping costs, no import costs with the Brexit or anything. So yeah, I'm I'm kind of happy with that. That's good. So yeah, cool. Right. See you in a bit.